I was watching a video log from that punk print, a lot of you know him, and he was talking about how he was at a party the other night, and there weren't too many people there, but basically this guy knew he was trans before he had the chance to disclose, if he even would have disclosed. And it was like this guy just asked him a question about his voice, and it just kind of threw him off because he didn't know the guy knew he was trans. So basically, one of his friends at the party had told this guy previously to meeting him. That's something that really irks me in regards to my trans status and stuff, and just being out, because obviously I'm not stealth. I'm not um, super out either. I think a lot of people think because I vlog and I have a really strong presence on the internet that I just tell everyone I meet and stuff and always want to do the educating, which I'm happy to educate, happy to answer questions in the right setting, in the appropriate time, you know, whatnot. You don't always want to be the educator. Hearing him say this kind of uh, struck a chord with me because when I was home in Florida for 18 months, I dealt with this a lot. Friends of mine and being home where I grew up, I knew some of these people since I was eight years old, so they obviously know about me, especially if we're still hanging out. Like Brent said, a lot of these people think it's a very courageous, brave, and even cool thing. I mean, being trans is sensational. Look at Jerry Springer, look all over the media. It's finally becoming somewhat normalized, but we're totally not there in uh, terms of mainstream culture. Obviously, subcultures like YouTube, you know, there's a ton of us vlogging now, and that's awesome, but still in mainstream, um, media, it's very rare that you see a trans person uh, portrayed positively. They're usually a sex worker or getting killed or something. These people, I don't think they have any bad intent when they're telling, you know, their friends like, oh, you know, you're gonna meet my friend Charlie and he's trans, you know, he used to be this and that and I knew him in high school and it's so cool, you know, he's so cute, whatever, he's funny. I believe 90% of the time these people don't have bad intentions. But it bothers me because I like to be the one to disclose my trans identity and my medical and social history. And then two, not everyone else feels the same. Most people, um, you know, when they get to know you, I would say most people think it's cool. I haven't really had many bad experiences. They think it's cool, like, uh, you know, you've gone through so much. You also have this cool perspective on life, like straight guys have told me, oh, that's, uh, that's so cool, man. You know what women are thinking, and I bet, you know, you're so much better with the ladies and whatnot, instead of being like, oh, you know, you're not really a man. So people have um, perceived me in ways much differently than I ever thought I would be perceived and is much more me and as male than I am. And I always used to be worried, like, oh, are people ever going to see me as 100% male? And now I realize, like, what what is 100% male? Like, everyone is different in their maleness or their gender identity. And I could check off every single box, have every surgery available to me at this time, and still not be a biological male. And plus, the farther into transition I've gotten, the more comfortable I am with myself, you know, more like being kind of more effeminate and stuff, where you wouldn't catch me dead years ago doing anything remotely effeminate or girly or whatnot. I'm really comfortable with my trans status. I just don't like people telling their friends before they meet me because I think it uh, gives them time to have these preconceived notions of what trans people are. And I'd rather them meet me and then get to know me as Charlie and then find out I'm trans and have it be one of many parts of me, one of many parts of my identity. So in addition to being a musician and skater and someone who's really into photography, instead of just being Charlie, the guy that used to be a girl, or Charlie, the transgender person, it's, you know, Charlie the guy that is trans and, you know, likes music and is really into film and, you know, skates a lot and loves to bike. And it's just, it becomes part of you and they see it as part of you instead of just like, oh, the guy that used to be a girl. So that is super frustrating to be outed. You know, and also not everyone thinks it's cool. Um, sometimes safety can be jeopardized. And when I was home, I had this problem. I've been in public six months now, but when I was in Florida for like 18 months, I reconnected with a lot of people from my past, which was great. It was very affirming to have people that knew me as an eight-year-old girl see me as a man and call me he and call me Charles, but then I'd meet their, some, you know, other friends, and they have already told them, and it's weird. It's not always weird in a bad way, but it can be weird in a bad way where, you know, the person is either weird, wants to threaten your safety, or they're just, like, looking at you, like, they'll look at your hands or your face and try to help see how you once were female. And that's just really annoying to be scrutinized, you know? I don't want to feel like I'm in a lab being studied. This video is more intended for a non-trans audience in just that it's not ethical to out anybody with their gender identity. Even in the trans community, it's not cool to like out another trans person because, I mean, unless you have their permission and you know they're out, because you never know how people feel about that. Like I said, I'm not stealth by any means, but I think since I've done a lot of vlogging and have kind of a large presence on the internet, people think immediately I want to talk about it all the time or I want everyone to know, and that's not true. 80% of the people I interact with in my day don't know. 
because I don't need to go announce it to the person at the store or coworkers. But if you're going to become my friend, it's definitely made me into who I am and a big part of me. Most of my friends know, unless they're just acquaintances, and they should know. It's, uh, I don't know, they can just understand me and my life and where I'm coming from and who I am a lot better. But like even at things like work or in class, when I was in college, I didn't like other people to know because it was mainly for my safety because I'm in Florida, and I just didn't want to be the guy that was a girl. I'm much more comfortable with it. There was a time in my life I couldn't even say I was transgender. Like when I was first coming out in 2005, it was so hard to say that. Now it's like, yep, we're trans, okay, let's move on. I wanted to make this video just to kind of put it out there for people who don't know because when I talked to my friends in Florida who were telling other people I was trans not to hurt me or to whatever, you know, because they thought it was cool and, you know, it's fun, I, I told them how it's different than outing someone as gay or just saying someone's gay, how it can affect safety and how just personally I don't like it and what you have to do with anybody. And they received it well and have had no problems since, but um, luckily everyone they told was fine. But I just don't want to get into a sticky situation, and I want to be in control of who knows about my status. That's how it should be for anybody. When someone is going to know your medical, legal, and social history, you kind of want to be the one that's in control of who's being told this information. So that's all I have to say. Hope everyone else is enjoying their August. And, uh, yeah, hope you're well. Take care. Peace.